Hi, this is question number 6 taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths P3, HSE. Um, it is given that 2 ln 4x minus 5 in brackets plus ln x plus 1 in brackets is equal to 3 ln 3. Show that 16x cubed minus 24x squared minus 15x minus 2 is equal to 0. For the second part, by first using the factor theorem, factorize 16x cubed minus 24x squared minus 15x minus 2 completely, and hence for the third part, solve the equation 2 ln 4x minus 5 plus ln x plus 1 is equal to 3 ln 3. Okay, so let's do it. Now, this is for the first part. Okay, we will need to <coughs> work with logarithms. So this is ln 4x minus 5. The 2 goes on top becomes the power plus ln x plus 1 is equal to ln 3. Same, the 3 goes on top here becomes the power. Now, when you have addition for logarithms, you need to multiply. Therefore, we're going to say ln 4x minus 5 to the square times x plus 1 is equal to ln 27. Okay, so we have ln, ln that can go out. We're left with 4x minus 5 to the square times x plus 1 is equal to um, 27. Then we're going to have to expand this. If you expand that, it becomes 16x squared minus 40x minus uh, plus 25 and then that is going to multiply with x plus 1 is equal to 27. All right, so 16x squared times x is 16x cubed minus 16x squared times 1 is plus 16x squared. Okay, minus 40x times x is minus 40x squared minus 40 times 1 is minus, minus 40x times 1 is minus 40x. 25 times x is plus 25x. 25 times 1 is plus 25. You can send the 27 on this side becomes minus from plus. Therefore, this is the equation that we have for the time being. We need to simplify. So 16x cubed. What is 16x squared minus 40x? It is minus 24x squared. Minus 40x plus 25 is minus 15x. 25 minus 27 is minus 2 is equal to 0. And that has been shown. Now, for the second part, we need to use factor theorem to factorize this. So how we can do it? We're going to do it by trial and error, because we have to find a factor first. What if we say that x is equal to 1? If we put 1 in here, it's going to end up with 16 times 1 to the cube minus 24 times 1. So 16 minus, 16 minus 20. Minus 24, minus uh, 15, then minus 2. Doesn't work out, that's 25. What if we try 2? We put x as 2. <clears throat> so 16 times 2 to the cube. I'll write minus 24 times 2 to the square. And then minus 15 times 2. And then minus 2. Yeah going to give us 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2 is a solution. Hence, what do we have? The factor, then, is x minus 2. So we're going to perform long division. And we're going to divide this whole expression here. 16x cubed minus 24x squared minus 15x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. 16x cubed divided by x is 16x squared. 16x squared times x is 16x cubed. 16x squared times 2 minus 2 is minus 32x squared. So what is uh, minus 24 minus minus 32? That's going to become 8x squared. Then uh, 15x minus 15x minus 2. Minus now 8x squared divided by x is going to give us uh, 8x. So plus 8x times x is 8x squared. 8x times minus 2 is minus 16x. 
minus 15 minus minus 16 x is x minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2 x divided by x is 1 so we have 1 times x minus 2 is x minus 2 and the remainder is 0 so what do we have we need to factorize this okay so we have 16 x squared plus 8 x plus 1 to factorize this I would suggest you there are various ways of doing this 16x squared, what if I say 4x times 4x, 1 times 1, so 1, 1 times 4x, 1 times 4x, it's 4x plus 4x, and that goes to 8x, and this is confirmed here. Therefore, what do we have? We have then 4x plus 1 times 4x plus 1. We are told for the second part we need to factorize this completely. The other factor is x minus 2, therefore what do we have is x minus 2 times 4x plus 1, times 4x plus 1 and here is your expression completely factorized. For the third part we have to solve the equation um, 2 ln 4x minus 5 uh, plus ln x plus 1 is equal to 3 ln 3. Now this is this has already been factorized we have it here so we can say then x minus 2 times 4x plus 1 to a square is equal to 0 because when you send this on this side it's going to become 0 anyway that way you're going to be left with 0 now when we do logarithms okay so x minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore one solution is x is equal to 2 what about the other solution 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 then we have 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 if I send this here it's going to become minus 1 minus 1 so we're not dealing with minus 1 because it's logarithm, so this is rejected. The only solution is x um, is equal to 2, and that's your answer. Here we are.